Good morning, students. <coughs> Many of you, I know, are curious to know how is the capital adequacy ratio is calculated and uh, what is the methodology and the approaches. Basel advocates different approaches and methodologies for capital calculation. They give a lot of inputs. Ba uh, basically, Basel document comprises three major chapters like Pillar 1, Pillar 2, Pillar 3. Two types of capital, there is regulatory capital and economic capital. Let us uh, talk about economic capital later on. In this session, we will discuss how the regulatory capital is calculated. As per Pillar 1, the capital adequacy ratio is the formula. Capital, the present capital, current capital of any bank is the numerator. And the total risk weights, credit risk weights, operational risk weights, and market risk weights are the denominator, the aggregate of all the three risks, credit risk, operational risk, and market risk. It is a percentage calculation. It is, it is not the actual exposure, it is the risk weights. How, how are the risk weights calculated? We will discuss in detail later, but broadly, I will tell you, because the risk profile of each bank differs. It is, some banks it is well diversified, some banks that are inherent risk like a concentration risk, which leads to systemic risk and risk contagion, etc. It all depends on the, the risk weights differs based on the quality of the individual bank's credit portfolio, the diversification and the quality of risk management processes and the monitoring processes, risk control uh, measures in place and risk mitigation process. We will discuss in detail later. Risk weights range between 0 and 100, 150 etc. For example, there are exposure in exposures, there are low risk exposures and medium moderate risk exposures and high risk exposures. High risk is high profitable but at the same time uh, we will run a risk major risk. The risk weights, there are zero risk weights for the exposure to the government and uh, uh, highly rated international banks, governments and also there are moderate risks for, for banks, domestic banks and uh, international banks. There are 100% risk, uh, 100 risk weighting for the corporate exposures.